In this module, we'll be asking you to reflect on how the COVA approach has aided you in your learning process, and then ask you to apply what you've learned to create a summary of how you will use a COVA approach to create significant learning environments that will provide your learners with choice, ownership, voice, and authentic learning opportunities. To help you in this reflection, consider the following. We designed the Digital Learning and Leading program to give you choice, ownership, and voice through authentic assignments. Therefore, we look at creating significant learning environments from a very holistic perspective. The work you did in 5302 prepared you for your ePortfolio development in 5303, uh, which started you on your journey of making meaningful connections and communicating those ideas to your learning communities. In EDLD 5305, you took advantage of the freedom to choose your own project and identified an innovation plan or project that has become the central focus or context for much of the work that you've done in this program. In EDLD 5304, you explored how to influence a culture and change the behavior of people within your organization and developed a plan to lead your organization through this innovation change process. In EDLD 5313, you then explored how to really take ownership of the learning process and learned how to create significant learning environments by first broadly focusing on what it takes to promote a new culture of learning, then exploring your own personal learning philosophies, and then applying that to developing instructional plans for your innovation project that, we, that, that would then be put online in 5318. In 5314, you explored local and global educational technology initiatives and learned what worked, what didn't, and what could be done better. Um, and you also developed a major literature review that documented this research. The review was then expanded in 5315, where you developed a research plan to measure the success of your innovation strategy. In 5316, you explored digital literacy issues that you then um, expanded on 5317 and looked at other uh, issues of digital learning and leading. Um, and you looked how you can leverage these resources for pedagogical use. In 5388, you developed a plan to design and model authentic professional learning activities to help promote your learning uh, innovation. Finally, in this course, 5320, you will synthesize your knowledge, your skills, your beliefs, and your values gained through your digital learning and leading uh, process and present uh, a comprehensive plan on how you developed into a digital learner and leader. And more importantly, you can identify how to promote innovation, create significant learning environments, and lead organizational change. So just to refresh your memory, you'll be creating three separate but related resources. The first is a reflection on how the COVA approach has aided you in your learning process and how the summary um, of how you apply the COVA approach to creating significant learning environments for your learners, giving them choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. Again, this is due in th the third week. Some of you may be thinking, hmm, I don't really recall reading anything on the COVA approach. So how am I going to be able to summarize uh, this process. Well, you've been living the COVA approach throughout your entire DLL journey. We have given you the freedom to choose your ePortfolio platform and how you would structure your site, your innovation project, and throughout all the courses, we've given you the choice on how to organize, structure, and present your learning experiences. With this choice has come responsibility of ownership. The ePortfolio, the innovation project, and all the work that you have been doing in the program is yours. You own it, and we are hoping you will continue to promote it well beyond this program. You've also been given the opportunity to not only find, but to use your voice uh, with being able to continually revise, restructure your work, and focus on your organization, who is your audience. Your choice, ownership, and voice have been realized through the Authentic Innovation Project and your ePortfolio. We created a significant learning environment with the DLL program uh, <clears throat> where we have also used a COVA approach to help you through your digital learning and leading journey. You've lived this for the past 18 or more months. We are now asking you to reflect on how this process has helped you learn, and equally more important, how can you use the COVA approach and the CSLE to create a significant learning environment in your organization that will provide your learners with a choice, ownership, voice, and authentic learning opportunities that they need to become digital learners and leaders. Don't worry. We've been formalizing the COVA approach and we'll be sharing some drafts of publications and resources that will help you reflect on how the COVA approach is intended to work. Please remember, 
the capstone course is a synthesis of your entire experience. So you must take some time to review the assignments for weeks three and four, and also weeks four and five. You should notice that there is significant overlap and you should start working on um, at least or start planning how you'll finalize your innovation project and how everything comes together for your final week. The visualization of your learning journey that we asked you to create as part of your final assignment will take more than just a couple of weeks. So we really strongly encourage you to start on this immediately. Don't forget, you haven't been alone in your learning process and you should continue to work and collaborate with your colleagues in the program. Their input has helped you and supported you and gotten you so far. You need their help and they need your help to finish the program. We are really looking forward to seeing how you bring everything together.